Hey, what's up guys and hey Barbies and Kens. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gab and today for you guys, I have a little bit of a haul. Kind of like antique-y, um, kind of like stuff I found in my car when I was cleaning it out that I've had for God knows who long, who God knows how long. I'm, I've been cleaning all day. I just got dressed before. I've just been trying to take care of stuff that needs to be done for once. And I feel like I'm kind of making lead way, which is good. I had my whole car cleaned and I just need to give stuff to Goodwill and it should be good. But I found some stuff. I feel like I maybe missed something. Who knows? I feel like maybe not because I went through a lot of stuff today, even like in my room. So I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I had bought and you will see maybe some of the items end up on my Depop or eBay uh, this month or beginning of May, but I figured I would share them with you. So this was a really cool find. This is one of those twin dolls. Uh, I don't know if I'm keeping her or not yet. So it's original My Twin from 1997, um, which is really freaking cool. Um, as you can see, her hair needs some work, but I'm really good at working with synthetic hair and doll hair, so I don't mind. It's kind of crazy that this is like somebody's doll that looks like them. Wild to me. Uh, it comes with the cute little original shirt. She's like jointed in here. This cute little like chain belt and the shoes that are original look at those those are really cute i i really like her i like this doll a lot i'm not gonna lie and i've always wanted like a my twin doll for my collection but she doesn't exactly look like me kind of like by any means so i might sell her and then eventually get one her body's pretty clean on this doll uh but i thought it was really cool that i found one and i got her very cheap i got her Another doll maybe I'm going to show you in another one for like maybe four or five dollars. Insane to me. Next up, I found this the other day and I was pretty excited because that day I wasn't really finding anything that was catching my eye. And then I found her and I was like, yes, I love vintage rubber items. I know she is missing something Velcro there. Maybe I can find one online eventually. I know nothing about this product. I literally saw it on the shelf. It was seven dollars on sale and I grabbed it immediately because I was like, this Minnie Mouse baby version edition, whatever, is adorable. And I don't see, oh, Disney Mexico is the only thing I can find on it. Um, doesn't like make any noises. It's just basically like a rubber Minnie Mouse. And I have a lot of different stuff like this in my collection. So I'm kind of, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I mean, she has a little bit of scuffing there and some issues, but I've never seen anything like this before. I've seen, um, like Donald Duck, like the green little duckling nephews he has. Wait, what are their names? Huey, Dewey, I remembered. Uh, I've seen those before. The one with like the green shirt, I think. But somebody wanted like $30 for it and it's half the size of this. But maybe one day I'll find another one cheaper. I just, I adore it. I could probably sit here and talk forever about stuff like this because I enjoy it. It's like something in my collection that I definitely collect a lot of besides like dolls and I've just gotten into vintage bears like I told you guys. This I got with the other doll. I don't know if I'm keeping him or not, but like I'm kind of in love with him. I love his bleach blonde hair. His face expression is very cute. Even his outfit is pretty cute with like these little shoes. So we'll see what I end up doing, but I just think he's so happy and cute and the blue eyes. Now this is a 1970s Mattel ink. So this is actually a Mattel doll, which is pretty cool. And he's in decent condition. Like I said, I got him pretty cheap and the body is also clean. So that's pretty cool as well, which seems like a win for me. So that's why I just need to make up my mind if I want him or not, because I love him, but he's pretty big and I don't know. I just don't know anything about him. I feel like his hair could have been possibly cut or maybe it's supposed to be a girl and it had shorter or longer hair and then shorter hair. I have no idea, but I want to look this whole thing up. And if you know anything about it, comment down below, please. Up in the air, if I'm keeping her or not still, so she might be on my stuff. She's so freaking pretty. Three dollars only. That's why I was like, I'll grab one because there's a bunch of different ones. And I was like, she reminds me of me. And she also has a wine on her stand right here. Do you see that? So she also plays music possibly i think it's a little dusty but it's kind of doing its thing so yeah i'm not sure what i want to do with her yet but 
she's pretty cool and she comes with a stand so this is the fair doll from that lot that i was talking about so she's a tinier one i think i am gonna keep her i love her face expression gotta fix up her hair in a little bit but she is super cute um markings wise did not look at her i really don't have an idea where she's from let me up here we go it just says hong kong ug so if you look that up and want something like this you could probably find one but she's pretty cute. I love her. And um, yeah, that was just a good deal overall to get those three for what I paid. Yes. This I was shocked about finding. I'll tell you that much. Because where I want it, I never find stuff like this. And I was digging through a really big thing of dolls. And that's kind of just how I found her. Now, granted, it's a brat. It's vintage. Its hair is a mess. I believe it's Yasmin. So I got to fix her hair. Look how beautiful she is. I've been wanting like brats out of the packaging with like maybe their possibly original outfits for a while to collect. And um, I don't think this is original outfits, 2001 MGA, but I'm just excited that I got her. Look at her little bracelet. I forgot they had like little accessories on and stuff. I loved brats as a child. That was like my thing. I would have had more if I could have. I could tell you sets that I'm like, I would have had that. I wanted that. I wanted the prom one. Obsessed. I found two of these. Ooh, one thing fell. Uh, all the prices on it still $2. They were a piece. So this one is like that. This one is like that. And I figured I would just use them for crafting. I don't know exactly what I want to do with them yet, but I think they'd be fun for a little craft project. This is what fell. So it says Max Planned Portraits, Chicago. And it is somebody's children, maybe in their yard or something playing. Uh, I think this is such a freaking awesome picture. I collect vintage pictures. So I knew when I saw this one, it was like $2. I had to have it. So I got it and it's just so freaking beautiful. I love it so much. I just, I I want to have more vintage pictures than what I have collected so far, but I have a nice amount. This I got for such a good deal. It is a glass turtle. I love turtles so much. And I just need to get the little glue sticky off the bottom, but I think this was like maybe three or four dollars and I thought it would just look cute on the shelf for like my little, uh, like, what is the word people use? It's like a, not prayer table, but I don't know, just like a table that I have, um, like incense on and stuff like that. I just thought he would look cute there. And last but not least, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what's in this one, but it must be, oh wait, it's a dog. It's a dog with a box. I was about to be like, it has to be glass. Cause I got the turtle in this on the same day. And I usually don't find glass items that I want, but this is really cute. Are you ready? It looks like he's coming out of like a grocery bag or something. I adore him. He has the stamp and everything on it. I love it so much. It's so freaking cute. I don't know where he's going to go yet, but I have a beagle. So kind of, well, beagle chihuahua, but she looks like a beagle. So kind of made me really want it more. So that was a little haul of all of the items that I found um for like the last month or so kind of piled up in my car so let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and i'll have to do something like this again real soon in the future i love you guys very much and i'll talk to you on my next video bye guys